Hello, I'm Jessica with So Sweet Quilt Shop and you just get me today because mom is not here. Um, so anyway, I will do my best by myself. So be kind, be kind to me. Um, I enjoy doing them with mom, but sometimes, you know, she can't be here. So that's just the way it is. All right, so um, today is our chat or my chat, I guess. And I have eight projects I'm going to share with you. Um, so some are uh, new things that I've started, I think. Yeah, one, one new thing, I guess, that I've started. Some are things that I've been working on for a while and just, you know, wanting to finish. Um, I do have a cross stitch I'm going to share with you that I've been working on for a while. You guys have been watching me. Um, so we encourage you to do the same thing. Get yourself a notebook and write down eight or however many you want, five, 10, whatever. Um, and it's just a nice way to kind of stay on track. And it's really fun when you get something done and you can mark it off. That's always exciting. Um, but anyway, it's just a good way to stay focused in your sewing space. So I will get started with number one. Okay, so I have been sharing with you guys my bunny quilt. So this is an Elizabeth Hartman pattern. And this is something that I started maybe a year ago. And I just have been kind of slowly working on it. We had made a bunch of kits, sold all the kits. Um, we could probably kit it again. It wouldn't be exactly like mine, um, but I'm using lawn fabric for the bunnies. And we do have uh, lawns still left and we buy the new ones when they come out. And then I'm using an Essex linen uh, purple, I think it's eggplant maybe, for the background. But anyway, I had four bunnies done for a long time and that's what you guys kept seeing, but I got four more bunnies done. So I have eight done total. These are some of the new ones. I think this is a new one too. So I have four new bunnies and then here's my old bunnies. They are just so cute. Maybe I could get it done um, by Easter, I think. I do have quite a few bunnies left. I believe I decided to do the large quilt, so that's 51 by 71. So anyway, I'm not counting exactly how many I have left to do. I just know I have several more bunnies to make and they're really not hard. So I find that if I cut out four, I can do four at a time, you know, kind of chain piece them or yeah, chain piecing them through my machine and they go pretty fast. I mean, several hours, but. Okay, next up is I got the binding all done on my chicken quilt. And I couldn't remember if I showed you guys this or not. Um, it was kind of in my pile that made me think I hadn't shown you yet. So anyway, I'm gonna show it to you again if you've already seen it. But I got the binding on my chicken quilt and this is a cluck cluck sew pattern just called chickens. And it turned out so cute. And I used a back backing from our sale room that's little eggs and chicks. Isn't that cute? So we do have the pattern. Um, we don't have this fabric, but we could kit it possibly in something similar. Okay, next up is my back quilt and I have been working on binding on it. Now I do think I've shown you guys this, but it is progress. So I'm gonna share it with you again because that's what this is about is making progress. And I do have, I don't know, I'm maybe halfway done with the binding. We do have this kit in the shop and Halloween's over, but you can get it done for next Halloween. It turned out really cute. I do really like it. Yes. Okay, next up is um, leader and ender. So this is one that I've been working on. I always like to have a scrap quilt going. That's my leader and ender project. And so if you've not done a leader and ender before, 
Basically what it is is you have a second project going all the time and so you're never cutting the thread on your sewing machine. So when you get to the end of something, you just are sending through your secondary uh, project, you know, just sending it through and just making it a little bit at a time. So I like to have a scrap quilt going. That's my leader and ender. So this is the one I've been working on for a while. It's an hour, the pattern is hourglass quilt pattern. It's a free pattern from Cluck Cluck Sew. And I had quite a pile of hourglass blocks. I started with five inch squares and it has you sew them together in blocks instead of rows. So anyway, I started putting my blocks together. My daughter, who's 16 and also sews, was in my sewing room with me last night and she was like, that is really busy. Like, yes, it is, but it'll be awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she kind of likes, you know, things to match. She hasn't got into the whole scrap, scrappy quilt stuff. But I think it'll be really great uh, with a flannel back. It'll be a family favorite in no time because of that soft flannel backing. Anyway, I still, as you can see, I still have a lot of blocks um, to sew. I am nowhere near done, I don't think. But I thought if I could at least get some blocks put together, I would know kind of where I'm at, um, how close I am to being done. Okay. The next thing I'm going to share is I've been doing this, uh, I'm calling it quilt, finish a quilt in a work week to inspire people that are, you know, with busy lives because we all are, you know, kids and work and whatever you got going on. Um, it's hard, you know, we hear all the time people say, I don't have time, I don't have time to sew, you know, and that's that's the, that's what they're telling, that's their excuse for not sewing. So I'm just trying to prove that if you just make a little bit of time, 30 minutes to an hour, two hours a day, you can get a lot done. And so I've been doing these quilts in a work week um, projects, and this will be, I think my fourth one that I'm gonna start, but I'm gonna do this one. It's called Frolic is the pattern. We also do a year of smalls here in the shop. So this is gonna be the January year of smalls project. So we kind of, we highlight um, a small project every month. And so this is gonna be January. So I'm ahead, right? And it's just a baby quilt, 36 by 48. And it's really cute. And here's the fabrics. And I just gifted a baby quilt that was for a girl and I didn't have hardly any girl baby quilts in my stash. So I thought, oh, this will be perfect for that. Anyway, I'm excited to get that started. Um, I haven't even shared it on anything yet. So you guys are the first to see what my next quilt in a work week project is. Okay, next is the Sweet Kisses. We had done this as a quilt along on our private Facebook group. Um, and mom got hers done and I did not get mine done. So anyway, I thought I'm gonna get that back out and see if I can get it finished. We do have the pattern here in the shop. I wanna to tell you, we do have these kits. Of course, that's the January project. Anyway, I've got, you know, quite a little pile of blocks done. So I just need to get back to it and get these done. So there were two, yeah, there are two kind of blocks but it's mostly, you know, low volumes. And we do sell these low volume packs here in the shop um, that we used with those because low volume is something I find I just don't have nearly enough of. So we sell these packs um, of low volumes that you can add to your stash. Okay, next up is my cross stitch that, you know, I work on a little bit at a time. It takes me forever because I just don't make time for it really. Um, but I do, you know, try to cross stitch a little bit every day or at least every other day. Anyway, I've been working on this chicken, Cluck Cluck Farm. I'm going to get this done. And I've made progress. So that's worth sharing. See? I've got that little top part almost done. So then all I have left is the bottom. Well, I've finished that top and then I have the bottom and this little chick here. And it'll be done. I'm so close. 
Yeah, and then I don't know. Maybe I'll make a pillow or something with it. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's my one cross stitch I'm gonna share. And since mom's not here, this will be like half the time because I'm only gonna show you eight. We had a customer in here yesterday that was like, so you're gonna show 16 since your mom's gone? I'm like, no, I'm just gonna show eight. You guys don't wanna see me ramble on through 16 projects, <laughs> I don't think. Okay, so the last thing is my quilt in a work week project, um, I believe it was the last one I just did, was a flannel quilt. The pattern is called Pilaf, P-I-L-A-F. It's a Villa Rose pattern. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. But anyways, a little Villa Rose and I got it done. I don't have it quilted yet, but I couldn't remember if I showed you guys this or not, so. But it is done. We do have these, fat, this fat quarter pack and we do have the pattern. So anyway, I'm excited about it. I've got the backing picked out and I'm gonna do a flannel back and it'll be so cozy. So nice and cozy. It was a quick sew. And yes, it'll be a really nice, warm, fun quilt. Okay, so that is, that's my eight projects. And thank you so much for watching. We will be doing live shopping on Friday and mom will be back. So she'll be doing live shopping with me, yay. Um, and then next week we should be back on our regular routine. So have a really awesome day, a great weekend, and we'll see you later, bye.